law enforcement often reaches out to the community for information and tips to help solve crime. After a rash of burglaries in southeast Texas, one group of concerned citizens decided enough is enough. KFDM reporter Justin Hinton joins us live in the studio with more information on how this group decided to fight back. Megan, they used Facebook. The campaign started in Hampshire, but the burglaries originated elsewhere. Chambers County Sheriff Brian Hawthorne told me the burglars scout different neighborhoods throughout southeast Texas. When the homeowners leave, they strike. Kicked in the back door and it broke this door frame right here. David Hilliard describes how burglars broke into his Winnie home about a week before Christmas. The door they broke sits on his back porch. That's basically what they did. They just kind of ransacked the place. Hillier says they took important documents and several of his guns, including his deer rifles. They were uh, very sentimental. Uh, they belonged to my grandfather and uh, some close uh, old friends, you know. Uh, can't replace those. You can buy new guns, but you can't replace that. Investigators say Hillier's home is just one of many burglarized by a group operating out of Channel View, Texas. They say they've made stops in Jefferson, Chambers, and Harris counties. The neighbors targeted in Hampshire decided to do something about it. And whereas you can't keep connected, you know, maybe all the time via phone, you're going to keep connected through Facebook. They created a Facebook watch group. Crystal Tidwell is part of the group that started in Hampshire. She says it's a way for everyone to stay informed and keep an eye out on their community. Kind of also has been a contact for different law enforcement offices. Um, you know, there's several people that we know personally that are, you know, law enforcement officers that are a member of this community watch, and it helps them keep um, up to date on things as well. She also stresses the importance of posting factual information rather than the rumors. But overall, she believes that Facebook is a good way to keep her community connected. The watch on Facebook has been good. It's been great. And I think it has also been played a major role in capturing these people. That's right. The day after the Facebook page was created, Chambers County Sheriff's deputies arrested four men in connection with the burglaries. I spoke with Deputy Rebelay with the Sheriff's Office. He says the burglars took about $30,000 worth of merchandise. Investigators also believe more individuals are involved. When they made an arrest, one man said, the only reason I'm here is because the other guy called in sick. Reporting live in the studio, Justin Hinton, KFDM 6 News.